also counsel of adult education and I had one woman come up and said is all right if I take this home and she opened her knitting bag and she had a dead inflated porcupine fish that stank like crazy I don't think she had any nose that worked and she was going I'm taking it home to show my grandchildren I'm so excited they've got excited about marine biology with me and I loved it this sort of interest that was there but I mean I feel these days you could have just as many exciting discoveries under one pier in Port Phillip Bay for the rest of your lifetime as you could by any other pursuit, any other hobby. And that's the great thing about the fact that we live in an area that is so unique. We have the longest southern facing coastline in the world and that isolation, you know, 60 million years since we tore apart from Antarctica and drifted north, we've taken that rich diversity and that unique nature of our marine life with us and it's still there, ready for us to basically discover. We bring out video footage of seals and dolphins and penguins and huge schools of fish and beautiful sponge gardens and just amazing creatures that people go, oh, I never knew that was there. interesting watching Finding Nemo because the stereotypes of the ocean were presented right there. The beauty and the diversity was on the coral reefs and if you remember when Nemo came to Sydney Harbour it was sewerage outfalls and it was uh, rather dull and drab and, and commercial fish. And that's the great challenge I think is to try and overturn the stereotypes.